All right, I want to show you guys some Xcode 4 keyboard shortcuts to help make your uh, programming faster. The first thing you want to do is go to Xcode Preferences and go to Fonts and Colors and change your color theme unless you want like a white background just blasting you in the face. So do that and under General, I mean Text Editing, check line numbers. I think that's off by default, so that'll help you out a lot. Um, first thing is if you didn't know it, Xcode has tabs. So if you hit Command T, you can see a tab bar pop up and you can have many different tabs. We'll select something else in this. And then if we hit Command Shift and then um, the braces, the right and left braces, that will tab us back and forth between all the tabs. So, has tabs. Um, if you need to add files quickly, it's Option Command A, bring up the Add File dialog box for you. Uh, save All, Option Command S saves all your open files. Uh, it does have a built in uh, Git support for version control, but I just use the command line. But there's a lot of um, tools and options for that. I'll show you a little bit. But uh, in interface builder let me bring this up you can have um, let me delete these you have a label if you hit command D it will duplicate that um, if you select everything command A and then you can do um, command right and left brace to align the right or left sides of these objects so that's a little interface builder stuff. Uh, in your main editor, you can use command and then 1 through 7. And if you look over on the left side, you can see that changes your different um, navigators, I guess. So command 1 is your whole project explorer, 2 is hierarchy, 3 is find and then warnings and so on. Uh, you have three different uh, main editor windows. So our standard is command return, which is this one. If we do command option return, we get the assistant. And so whenever we open up um, a .h file, it will also open up the .m file for us. Uh, if we want the version control, it's command option shift return. And then this will bring us up a version, uh, kind of like file merge. Uh, if we, we can click through, there are also three different screens for this. But uh, if you want to use version control for it, see it even has lines like in file merge. So there's that. Uh, you can show and hide the debug area. So command option Y or command shift Y will bring up and down the console debug area and then um, you can have the whole right side I forget what it's called um, navigators to the left which is command zero you can do that and then the right side I just forget what it is so uh, in editing, you have code completion with control spacebar. Bring up code completion, and there's a bunch of nice things, so, such as if you're in your own class, if you start typing in init and you see this Objective C init method, you hit enter, it'll fill in your whole init for you. Uh, there's a lot of good um, code folding. So if we're by a method and you hit um, option option command left, it will fold. Option command right unfolds. So we can fold that whole method for us. If we want to fold all methods, it's option command shift right and left to unfold and fold them all. Uh, if we have a selection, 
and we want to comment it it's command forward slash and that will comment and uncomment if we need to move a line up or down such as this self dot player line uh, I use this all the time we can uh, option command and then brackets and this will move it up and down uh, if we need an indent it's just command brackets and this will indent back and forth so if we have a big selection and you wanted to indent that right if you hit tab it deletes it but if you do command right brace it will indent the whole selection for us uh, one really nice fix is if you have a if statement here and you're wrapping some code around it and you need to fix indention on that you just select it and hit command oops uh, control I and that will fix the indent for you All right, uh, I think that's all there. Um, one cool thing is I just played around with Mark and Yank. So um, if we go back into here and you go to key bindings, you'll want to type in Mark. And this one, set Mark, I had to change. It was being uh, bound to something else. But uh, what you can do is we can go to the front of this player and I'll hit control S to set the mark and then I'll move down here and say I want to delete everything between my cursor and where that mark was I hit control W and it deletes all that for us um, if we just want to select everything between my mark and stuff so I'm going to at the front of this NS URL control S to set my mark and I want to select everything between my mark and where my cursor is now it is command XM and that selects it all for us so that's really cool um, we can do a yank so if I have something and I cut it with control X and I want to put it back I can hit control Y and that yanks it back uh, it's not really what I'd want but um, it works. Let me clean this up. All right, and uh, organizers, command shift two, but I can't do that or my screen flow recording will die on me. But that's just a few of the things that help you out. Oh, if you want to add breakpoints. So let's say I want a breakpoint at my current cursor. I just hit command backslash and that will add a breakpoint. Um, if I want to activate or deactivate all breakpoints, so I have a few here, you just hit command Y and that will activate and deactivate the breakpoints. And the command backslash also removes them. So that's just a few that I've found useful help helps you move a little faster uh, again with this navigator over on the left if you hit command one then your cursor is already in this navigator so you can select different files all from your keyboard and change names and so on so hope this helps start messing around with all the key bindings and uh, you'll get faster at it